Hello, everybody. So in this clip, we're going to be taking a look at uh, introducing our support. So specifically, um, when we think about our essays, you know, we're always told to use quotes and use supports. And, and you know, clearly, this is something that um, I've asked you to do in uh, the assignment description that we took a look at last week. And so um, a lot of times people think that, well, because we put so much emphasis on this in academia, that really this is all a paragraph is, and that's not true. Um, so in this clip, I want to show you how to use your ETA sheets that you built in the last module um, to build your paragraphs that we've already started building and already started looking at in, um, in your rough draft. And so I'm going to pull up a couple documents here. I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to look at, okay, this is, all right, so this is the document. Um, actually, you know what? Stop sharing. Sorry. I'm going to share my whole screen. Okay. So if I look at where is it? here it is. If I look at what we already have, what we have here really is your outline, right? So we have right up here, this is our thesis, right? And now we have each of these individual paragraphs. And eventually, you know, we're not going to need these categories that we've already labeled, right? So we're just going to be able to go through and um, you're going to be just talking about your topic sentences. So right now, it says, uh, for my topic sentence, it says, there's many different definitions and ways to understand happiness. Philosophers and psychologists have argued over the true nature of happiness for hundreds of years. But in order to discuss the idea of happiness, we need a common definition. So now I'm going to take, and I, I know I need to have some definition. I know I want to cite a source. And so if I go back, this is the ETA sheet that I had you do. There was a, a quote from Will Storr um, about Aristotle. Um, he, Will Storr was actually quoting Helen Morales, which I'll talk about how to do that um, in a moment. And I wrote a little bit about why I thought this quote was important. I explained what it meant. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this quote. I'm going to take all of it, even though I don't think I'm going to use all of this quote. I'm going to pull all of it right now. And so I'm going to go into my document. And I'm going to put this down here just for now. Oops. Actually, fonts matter, so I'm going to do this. Okay. Now this, just to be clear, this is way too long um, for the length of essay that we're writing. But we can't just drop a quote immediately after we explain the topic that we're talking about. Um, so I'm going to say, I'm going to do what's called a signal phrase, right? So I'm going to say, according to Aristotle, there are many kinds of happiness. There are three kinds, not many, there are three kinds of happiness. And this was in Will Storr's article. Hedonic, um, dramatic, uh, what does he say? He says, Hedonic, uh, he says goal-driven. Uh, 
and eudaimonic. Um, the notion of eudaimonic happiness um, is shared by author Will Storr in his essay a better kind of happiness. All right, so I'll, I'm going to share what I did here for a second. This part right here, where I'm talking about, according to Aristotle, the three kinds of happiness, they I am uh, paraphrasing, or some are paraphrasing, really, from the article that we all read, right? And then here, I am leading into, oops, not Shafred. <laughs> Um, I am leading into the quote that I'm about to use, right? So the notion of eudaimonic happiness is shared by author Will Storr in his essay, A Better Kind of Happiness. Storr um, explains that. And now I'm going to go in and I'm going to bring in my quote. And if I'm introducing a quote in this way, Storr explains that, comma, quote, And I'm just going to bring my quote right here. And I'm going to take this. So I'm going to take this. OK. So this gives me a nice definition that I want to use in his and I'm going to put it his because we don't know who he is. I'm going to put in brackets Aristotle. And that's what we do. Anytime we want to add language to make a quote make sense, you can add whatever language you want as long as you put it in brackets. And I'm going to go over uh, in another uh, little clip, I'm going to go over what it means to, uh, or what, what you need to do to cite um, in MLA format. But the notion of eudaimonic happiness is shared by author Will Storr in his essay, A Better Kind of Happiness. So now I'm telling you where this is coming from. And now I say Storr explains that, and I just copy and paste it. It is uh, Aristotelian in Aristotle's um, Nicomachean Ethics. He describes the idea of eudaimonic happiness, which said essentially that happiness was not merely a feeling or a golden promise, but a practice. So now what I'm going to do um is i'm going to go and i don't think i need all this i don't think i need him helen morales or or um any of this this is store's article and i'm citing store from his article and so i'm going to get rid of this for right now and so i've gone in and i've now i have a topic sentence here right or it's topic um i have my lead now here i am introducing my quote This is my support. OK, and so now I'm going to go in and I want to explain this. But what's great is if you did the ETA sheets, like I know many of you did, you go into your ETA sheets. I take the explanation that I wrote. I'm going to copy this. I'm oops, that's not it. That's me. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to paste this just to give myself some space. I'm going to paste it down here. Paste plain text. And then I'm going to see if this fits. Right? So this is just the ETA that I built around the quotes in the same way that you did. So uh, Will Storn does that say a better kind of happiness. Storr explains that in his Aristotle's Nicomachean Ethics, he describes the idea of eudaimonic happiness, which said essentially that happiness was not merely a feeling or a golden promise, but a practice. The idea that happiness is a process and a practice is an important concept in understanding what people mean when they refer to pursuing happiness. Happiness is clearly important, but because it can mean so many things, identifying it 
as a pursuit rather than just a temporary feeling is crucial to understanding just what kind of happiness we should seek. To me, I can just take that and I'm pulling in that language that I already wrote and it fits perfectly. Right. And so I'm a little ahead of myself now because uh, I really just wanted to talk about introducing support and giving support. But this, this is a great example of if you did the ETA sheet, I'm going to come back here. Um, if you did the ETA sheet, I just I'm going to stop sharing here for a second. Then you're going to have a really strong um, source of, of content to draw from. And what you're going to do for the remainder of this is you're going to go in and you're going to continue. So for each of those topics, you're going to introduce your support and then you're going to paste your support. And if you have an explanation, or if you have an application, or if you have a stance that you took from your ETA sheet, just put that right underneath. And what you're going to find is when you're done with this activity, your essay is going to be pretty close to uh, being completed. If you have any questions about this, don't hesitate to let me know. Shoot me an email. But um, what we're going to take a look at next is we're going to have a little bit more of a, um, a full conversation around um around citations around mla style citations all right thanks so much